We're live with Nicholas Livy for a preview, and you have something pretty impressive to show us there, Nicholas. Uh, I'd like to think so. Uh, here we have the human hamster wheel, and our very unfortunate human hamster is going to have to do some running for us. Uh, it's got a seven foot inner diameter, it's eight feet tall, and on the bottom it runs on four caster wheels that you'd basically find at the bottom of a shopping cart. Hello, Imagine. We are Engineering House, and this is the human hamster wheel. This is the hamster wheel itself. As you can see, it's quite large at seven feet in diameter. It consists of four main components. First, the base is what the wheel sits on, rolling on these four caster wheels. There are wheels on each side of the rings to restrict movement side to side. Second, the wheel itself, composed of six sections that were made from CNC plywood components. The sections are bolted together, allowing easy assembly, disassembly, and storage. Third is a stability bar, which allows the user to hold something while running fast and holds the fan. Lastly is electronics. A generator is spring-loaded to make contact with the wheel, thus when the wheel spins, the generator spins, creating energy to power the fan. The project began three years ago in 2017. Those original members thought it would be a fun idea to create a hamster wheel large enough to fit a grown adult. The project was planned and designed that school year. In the following fall semester, the wheel's six segments were machined in a CNC router at the Construct at RIT. It was completed and featured at Imagine RIT 2019. Due to its popularity and the time already put into the project, it was continued in 2020, but work was cut short due to COVID-19. Besides looking awesome, the wheel demonstrates how mechanical energy that can be converted into electrical energy. When a person runs on the hamster wheel, they create mechanical energy, which turns the generator. The generator is able to take that mechanical energy and output electrical energy, or electricity, in the form of a current. This electricity travels through the wire and to a fan. One of the limitations that had to be worked around in the design process was body sizes. The wheel needed to be accessible for both adults and children. Adults would need to be able to run without hitting their head on the top, and children would need to be able to reach and use the handlebar. A current limitation we are dealing with is friction. The design of the base causes the ribs of the wheel to rub against parts of the base. This friction limits the efficiency of the wheel since some of the mechanical energy is dissipated into the base in the form of heat. We are working on a few different modifications to the wheel. First, the base will be widened and strengthened to stabilize the handlebar. Additionally, more wheels will be added where the ribs are rubbing against it to reduce friction and prolong the life of our materials. Another addition is an interactive display. These are the electrical components, where the main addition is the user interface implemented on a Raspberry Pi. This will show the current speed, the travel distance, and the output power in light bulbs and hamster units. Finally, we are adding a new brake system, which will be a huge improvement to the overall safety and operation of the wheel. Currently, people with heavy-duty gloves have to manually slow the wheel down when the user asks. The new brakes will allow the user to brake themselves, similarly to a bike, without the need of external help.